Hello all and welcome back to Small Grid Only. Today we are going to be starting our journey up into space, but first thing we have to do is go get that ship that is still missing, the one that got shot up in the end of the last episode. When I spawned back in, I, uh, I spawned at my rover. And if you remember, the survival kit on that one is dead. So we're going to jump in our other one and we're going to go get it. Alright, yeah, I have to fly there with my other scout rover and uh, rescue rescue the other one. We'll stop by the station up here and then we'll head the rest of the way to the other one. Doesn't really matter where we land, so we'll just land up there. Look at this. That's my junk from before. Let's throw it somewhere so it's a little more inconspicuous. Right at the bottom of the ladder. It'll be a present for uh, anyone who can't fly. Buy them all. Sort through them at some point. For now, we'll just throw them in storage. Alright. Once the train loads back in, let's figure out how we're going to attach these. things first. Fix the survival kit. Once these two are merged, I can just fly them as a single ship, which will be fine. Right. Dang, this guy just just left the game with this giant ship hovering here. Left the game and didn't come back. I wonder if he'd mind if I uh, <laughs> took some pieces from his ship. <laughs> oh, feels bad after he was nice, but gosh, I could use. Just one of these, one of these thrusters would be enough to uh, make a bunch of small ones. I'm very tempted, very, 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 very tempted. I think it's uh, it's not not quite right to be mean to somebody who is nice to you, though. Even if it is relatively harmless. Uh, I wish they were on, then I could ask. But then if I asked. And they'd just be giving me stuff and yeah it's just I need to I need to have to pay in some way for the services rendered let's get this ship back well let's uh, we got this dual ship going on right now uh, I just pick something up I don't know what that is, but I'm going to go check it out. We're just going to fly over there, which is probably a mistake, but we're going to do it. Uh, janky starter base for someone that I've never seen before. Uh, are there any parts in these that I need? No. No, no parts, but let's see what's in them anyway. Nothing. Nothing useful, at least. Ooh. F. Okay. Never 
partial dampeners for my ship were not on. I didn't lose any batteries. That's really what I was worried about. You know, I did lose though. I lost a tank. I should go back and search for that tank. Gosh dang it. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're not going to get a lot of these tanks. They're a fairly rare commodity. Okay, well, we got the important thing back. We don't want to be losing those particularly much. Almost completely forgot about that. I don't know, I got this waypoint um, from all chat, from the people that were in that ship back there. I don't know if it's actually leading to anything or not. Ah, it is. Excellent. Alright, we're finally coming up on the SMGC station. Hopefully this one has better tools maybe I can buy, or metal grids. That would also be good. Uh, I also hope it's kind of just bigger so that I have more stuff to, or inventories to raid while I'm here. We'll park right up on the top deck, as one does. Hey, top tier pistol. Yeah, they're selling more right. Ooh, top tier welder, and I can afford it. Top tier welder is super good. Might buy one of those. Always check the bounties to make sure I'm not on them. Hmm. Let's go down here. See if the Oh my gosh. Literally? Just a bathroom down here? Ah, here's all the beds. This one's not bad. There's a lot of beds to raid for money, and a lot of things to raid for tools as well. We will buy one of those, just because we can, and we will deposit all of our credits. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to do any of that. We'll just head home. It's good to know this is here. I don't think I need anything else out of it, though. Now we got a long ways to get home. As soon as I stop looking for things, they show up. I actually see, think I see a couple up there on the right. We'll check them out. Looks like there's one up a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and that one's still powered, because it's showing up red. Cool. Let's go in and have a look. This is probably some garbage that got left behind. Yep, single grid block. Pretty useless. What's this thing up here, though? Alright, it's an active base. Whose is it? Faster button. Okay. Interesting name. They've got a drill ship welding up. Mm, this is kind of promising. I'm going to see what's in here. Nothing. Um, you have a full assembler. We're just going to see what's in all these containers. Because why not? Nothing in that one. Okay, I can't make those. Take that. None of this other stuff is good. We'll check this. Or cobalt. Transfer that all back to nobody. 
And we're going to take the metal grids out of this. Short on metal grids. We'll leave them there, cobalt, so they can make more, maybe. They won't be able to make more metal grids, I don't know. They have a basic assembler, right? They abandoned their basic assembler full of, for a full assembler. Well, that's unfortunate, because I'm not taking their grids. This doesn't take grids. Anything useful in here? This isn't even made yet, let's just leave it. Um, these take grids, right? Just eight. We're gonna take them. And take all these metal grids that they have. This is the most vital thing for my next mission, going to space. So we're gonna have to take them all. All right, we got all the parts. Leave everything we can make and take the stuff we can't make. That did not show me the location of anything new. We got 39 metal grids out of that, which is a pretty good deal. Let's keep moving. From here I flew all the way back to the ice lake without running into any more player bases or having any other strange incidents. So when I got back, I dropped off all my loot, and I spent a little bit of time repairing my ship that I recovered. So it's back to normal now. After that, I logged out, and the next day I logged back in to continue building, or really to start building, my first part of a spaceship. Now, I've kind of thought about it a while and decided that the spaceship we take to see the other planets and moons is going to have to be a modular ship because I don't have enough metal grids to build a ton of thrusters to build a very large ship and then send it up into orbit. I'm going to have to carry up chunks of ship at a time and assemble it in space. So what I'm going to do first is uh, we're going to design a shuttle of sorts, something that can lift a lot and carry it up. And then we will design individual modules to bring up there and to attach, and we will carry those with that shuttle. So we're going to start with that. It's going to be hydrogen-based, of course, because it has to go up a lot. And I think the first module we make is going to be a power module, so probably a lot of solar panels again. Kind of going overboard on solar panels in this playthrough, but it's... It's kind of our best option for power, solar panels and batteries, so. Oh, another thing I've decided is that every module I bring up is going to have some sort of interior to it. So I will eventually have a central module for this. It's gonna be more like a space station than a spaceship. It's gonna be pretty interesting, I think. But there's gonna be a central module and then coming off from those, I'll have various different modules that do different things. And I'm gonna try and make each one specialize in something just so that it's thematically kind of fun to play with. And I've never built anything like that, especially not out of small grid. I have done some large grid module based stations, but never, never with small grid and definitely never with small grid with an interior that goes throughout all of them. So that should be a lot of fun. All right, let's get some building materials and start laying out the designs of this hydrogen ship. This is always what I grab for materials. Just a bunch of the different things that let me place blocks. And hopefully this landing gear doesn't fall through the floor. Oh, I don't have uh, tools, 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 tools. You know, I hope last time I logged out, I remembered to put my tools away because I'm a little bit worried that I didn't. Okay, I did. <laughs> Thank gosh. Because I have the welder that I got. Maybe I didn't. If I don't have a tier 2 grinder, I definitely lost some tools. Dang. I logged out with my tools in hand. Oh my gosh. I need to make a, a cryo sleep. So I stopped making this mistake. Oof. That hurts. 
At least I still have a tier 3 welder, because I'm going to be welding a lot, but not having a tier 2 grinder is, is actually pretty sad. We only had one of those. Dang it. Mistakes were made. Character tools, that's what I want. Oh well, we will live with our mistakes. I lied, we're not going to do it that way. We made this mistake last time, and cleanup killed my grid, so... We're going to do this the right way. We're going to build it off of the side of my ship to begin with. Gosh. We will use the regular cockpit on this. Now, should I make my shuttle also able to dock with this station in an airtight fashion? I think eventually we will, but I think for now we will just go with a very basic design the usual tank set up there and then we will go right into hydrogen just a large hydrogen tank um, we'll do two large hydrogen tanks normally I only do one for a ship like this but I want it to be able to lift a lot and these do take a lot of big tubes but I think those tires from that one guy are probably still over there, so I'll salvage those if I have to. Let's lay the rest of this out and then go from there. Alright, I think this is a pretty good design for the basics. We've got two large hydrogen thrusters going down for lifting out of gravity, but then we also have two small ones just for flying around. And we have two small hydrogen thrusters in each direction for maneuvering in space because we will need a lot less hydrogen up there. Uh, we have two H2O2 generators. I decided to put those on top of these thrusters because it's just a solid place for them. And then put the Saravo kit behind the cockpit. So, a few changes. Extremely simple ship. It does still need a gyroscope. And we still need battery and hydrogen engines. Hmm. Battery, solar, and hydrogen engine. Where am I going to put all this? I think this is tipping my rover over slightly. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're just rebuilding the next ship. I can see it already. <laughs> it never changes. Hey actually attached. It got heavy enough that it uh, sank down and attached. And this is powering itself now, so I'm going to detach it. Because we need to use the truck to dig holes. We'll go over to the stony edge over here, and we'll dig as much rock as we can get. Fill our inventory with it. fairly certain that I'm processing this stone as fast as I'm getting it. Uh, let's add more drills to speed up this process. Now this is going to keep me from driving backwards probably. But I think it'll be worth it. Collect a lot more stone. Excellent. Making a much bigger hole now. Hopefully getting enough stone that I'm overfilling. Getting it faster than I'm using it. That's a good sign as well. Alright, I think that's enough stone for the moment. Let's go back and see how much more we can build. Alright, I think we've completed uh, a passable tugboat. It's not beautiful, but it's definitely going to work just fine. All right, let us begin construction of our first module. Uh, the first module is going to be power, because that's going to be absolutely vital up there. And if I can start charging batteries and doing things like that right away, that's probably the first thing I want to be doing. So I want this module, this power module, to have an interior. I want the power module to have a ton of solar panels. And I want those solar panels to be able to rotate probably with a custom turret controller so that I can face them towards the sun uh, whichever direction the sun is. It's going to be a little bit more complicated 
then just a bunch of batteries and solar panels. And I have to decide how I'm going to go about merging this onto the main grid. I think what I'll do is I'll just make a airtight area that has a merge block on it that won't attach. So we'll we'll build this off of this ship actually because that um, that ship's gonna have to drive around to mine stuff a whole bunch. I know it is. So we will we'll just do it right on the front of this ship. Maybe we'll go with a five by five. Because I think 3x4 is about the size of the character. That's the size of the door. Let's let's do it the size of the door. We'll do a 3x4. And this module, so that'll be the door that we walk through. This module won't have... Yeah, I'm glad I have my, uh, my pieces already. So we want this, and then we want a little bit of a, a walk-in space. Maybe enough for like one person to stand in it. So we'll make a three long passageway. Alright, let's step into this and see how it feels. It's not spacious. I think it'll do. I'm going to put windows here because I think that'll look really nice. And then there will be a door here. We need this to be covered though because this will become not airtight when the door opens and closes because the game is like that for whatever reason. Let's make a nice room in here. I think this room is going to be 5x5. Five five. Just just because that sounds like a good number. We have a 5x5 five five floor. That's all the bigger this module is going to be. Uh, I will put a control station right here. I think a uh, helm. I think a helm would go great for controlling the solar panels. And I will just put one right there. Yeah, that'll be nice. Let's make this an enclosed box. We might decorate this more. We're just going to make it a... Uh, simple ball for now. Clear that it has some sort of interior, but not an extravagant interior. We'll have a large rotor right there. Coming out from the rotor, we are going to build enough to have one, two, three, four, five. That's one solar panel. We're gonna go five more. One, two, three, four, five. That's another solar panel. Now we will have a hinge. Attach that like that. I think you can probably guess where this is going. Not bad. Now I will be able to spin this and angle it at the sun pretty much wherever the sun is. Which I just think is a cool feature. It's definitely not necessary and I don't have mods to make it functional, but it's a cool feature. Let's weld the rest of the habitat area and then we'll go get more materials. I think the other modules will definitely be more spacious than this one. This is going to be very minimalistic. Low ceiling and everything. daytime just in time to charge our batteries before we go. Excellent. Two more over here. We're going to start with just four batteries because we are limited on battery supplies still. This looks incredibly fragile so let's make it less fragile and let's actually use our nice blocks for this. Alright we've got some beam blocks now. Not extravagant, but there's something. Slightly more interesting than what I've got going on everywhere else here. 
All right, let's see if this can fly just with what I have on it right now. Looks like that's a yes. Um, it started falling back down right away again, which I think again has to do with um, hinges and rotors and things like that dragging it downwards. I do think it needs gyroscopes. And this is extremely ugly now that I see it in daylight. So I might I might work on this a little bit more before I send it into space looking the way it is. I find this module acceptable for the moment. It's not phenomenal, but it's acceptable. I do think the solar panel looks decent. Check on our ice situation. Basically now we are ready to go. We just have to wait to refuel our ship. Um, we're going to try and speed this process up by just slapping on a whole bunch of H2O2 generators like we usually do. 80% full on two tanks. That should be more than enough to get to space and back. And on top of that, I still have tons of ice in the generators. Cool. I think I will let that ice finish. Then I will remove the generators. Let's look at our power. They are depleting, and we just lost our sunlight. But they're going to take a couple hours to deplete, which is a really good sign. Let's take one good look at this before we take it to space. Might be the last time we see any of this, if I crash. All right, we're ready to go. Everything looks good. Fuel is at 90%. That is very good. Turn our inertial dampeners on, hit five, and let's go. We're having a very, very easy time lifting this, which is a good sign because I'm going to be lifting a much bigger thing next time, probably. And we'll use as little fuel as possible. We started at about 90%. We got some sunlight again already. It's excellent. Turn our beacons on for a second just so that we can see how far we've gotten off the ground. The purple signal below us is where we came from. As we head up into space here, I just want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And I also want to make a quick shout out to Liam. We just had a nice conversation, and I will be sharing that in a few episodes. Hopefully you don't mind. Let's look around. We've been going straight long enough. I think that asteroid looks pretty good for parking. It's a nice big one. So we'll head over there. I'm going to land this on the asteroid for sure. We'll take the landing gear off our hauling ship. We'll put it on this module and then we'll attach it to the asteroid so that it doesn't fly off on us because right now it doesn't have any way to remain stationary. And while I would like to leave it just floating out in space where it's less likely to be found, um, putting out an asteroid will at least guarantee it's not drifting off on us accidentally. So first person does not work with this craft at all. I do want to land somewhere where I'm perpendicular to the sun direction as best I can be. Alright, we have deposited 
our first module and now we have to build more. Build more, bring them up here and attach them. I'm pretty excited for this, honestly. This is like building our own International Space Station or our own modular space station of whatever sort you want to call it. Super cool. I'm going to have a blast building this or designing this. Building is kind of slow, but designing is fun. And the end result is going to be a modular ship that I think is going to look really nice. It's definitely going to look different than anything I've ever built before. It's going to look more like a space station. And I think that's fitting because it's, uh, I think, more realistic for... I mean, at least this playthrough, it's going to be my best option. And I like when realism mixes with the game because... I don't know. I just I just like it. Some people like games that are completely different from reality, and I like when there's some realism, for sure, in my games. So let's take some screenshots of this. It looks pretty cool. We are starting our base. Ooh, yeah, that looks nice. All right, awesome. Let's head back down and finish up our day. From here I marked the location, jumped in the lifter ship, and headed back to the lake bed. That's where we're going to end it for this episode though. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.